Hello, everybody, and welcome to our first inaugural episode of Behind the Hype with Cal TV Sports. I'm Nassau Reyes, your host. Behind the Hype is a show that I created this summer with, along with the help of Kelsey Rothhouse, where you want to show the personal side of the athlete, off the court, off the field, etc. I am so honored to have my first guest on the show, starting defensive tackle James Looney, a good friend of mine here. James, thank you for being on the show. How are you doing today? Doing great, man. Thanks for having me. That's great. All right, I want to talk to you about the USC game on Saturday. I know there's a lot of hatred here at UC Berkeley towards USC. How's the excitement in the locker room? What is everyone talking about? I mean, this is great energy. I mean, just, you know, a lot of people being from L.A. down here and coming to Cal, Berkeley, and I mean, just having, like, the NorCal, SoCal rivalry. And, you know, at USC has, I mean, like, the privileged students known for them. Oh, we know that. <laughs> so, you know, we're just trying to, trying to get after them. Of course. And a lot of excitement also comes from being a Halloween. That's going to create a lot of excitement in the fans. It's going to be a lot of costumes. Let me talk to you about costumes and outfits. I know during the game and practice, I've heard that you wear this crop top outfit. You want to touch up on that a little bit? Yeah, you know, I got a sexy, pretty sexy body. <laughs> I like to show off my We all do, us big boys, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I eat McDonald's here and now, but, you know, it's, everything's cool. You know we don't touch upon McDonald's that much, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, know. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of, like, dressing up. I just like to go out there and put on anything, and I don't know. The crop top looks good to me. I like, I like it, man. I know a lot of people on Twitter and Instagram like it, so you keep doing your thing. Yeah, I no, I get a couple sacks. That's what that's <laughs> Speaking of sacks, what's your favorite sack dance to do? I know that hotline bling, that Drake, you know what I mean, or hitting the dab. What's your favorite one? The dab is pretty sweet, but I don't, I don't know. I personally like soccer, like soccer celebrations. Okay. Cristiano Ronaldo. All right. Cristiano Ronaldo. I mess sweet. with that. Don't hurt yourself. I know a couple. Sure. Yeah. Sack dance. I know a couple people have hurt themselves in the NFL doing that, so yeah. I don't want to mess up with that stuff. Yeah, but I'm a superb athlete, so I know. You get those hops, though. You get those hops. Yeah, I know. I feel that. All right. Speaking of soccer, I've heard that there's a lot of FIFA competition happening in the locker room. How are you? Are you good? Decent? Like, I know I'm one of the best FIFA players in this school. You know what I mean? How are you? I mean, there's average and there's good, and then there's probably great, and then there's me. You know <laughs> there's a couple other teams on the team. I mean, players on the team that are pretty good at FIFA. Bryce Treggs, Kyle Craigan, Isaiah Tangalava, definitely. All right. For my money. But, yeah, it's a, it's a, we go at it. Oh, we got to play sometime. You got to come over, man. No, we got four TVs. And play okay, around. we got to invite me over. <laughs> Controllers get broken every now and then. Oh, I bet. I bet. I've been through a couple of my own, man. Who's your favorite team to play with, though? Uh, Barcelona. No. Barcelona? Uh-uh. I don't mess with Messi, Barcelona, man. You know what I'm saying? You got Neymar. You can't, can't beat him. Respect, though. Respect. Respect. Yeah, yeah. All right. I know you started off at Wake Forest, mm -hmm. but you came over to Cal. What initially drew you to come over to Cal? I mean, um, first, uh, when I was at Wake, we got a new coaching staff. I mean, um, I was real, like, close to the coaching staff that was there before. And the new coaching staff, I mean, they were pretty good guys. I mean, it just didn't fit my system, and they didn't fit my personality. So I wanted to come out to Cal. I mean, my brother was out here playing for the Niners at the time, and, I mean, it just seemed like a perfect fit. Coach Dykes was a great guy. I mean, and coming to Cal, obviously, it's a great academic school, one of the best in the country. So, I mean, it was a pretty much easy decision. Amen. Weather, too. Amen to that. Amen to that. Can't beat it. All right, speaking of your brother, I know my mother and my brother have been a big influence on my life, big role models. Mm -hmm. How has your brother, like, inspired you to be successful here at Cal? I mean, he just pushed me to work hard. I mean, when you got a um, brother as successful as my brother, I think he's done a great job in the NFL. He's actually playing for Tennessee Titans right now. He just got picked up. That's some he's dope stuff. Pretty, yeah, he's doing a pretty good yeah. job. He's laying the foundation for me. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I don't know. It's just competition between us two growing up as kids. We I feel that. Yeah. Man, <laughs> trying to up him. All right, you know I see saying? that. Yeah. Family rivalry. <laughs> For sure. Let me touch upon lifting. All right. So I've heard some rumors that you're a huge lifter. Maybe one of the best. Maybe not as good as me because, you know, I push 135. What are you pushing on the bench press? Ah, 135. I could probably get about 145. <laughs> <laughs> Easy in, my, in your sleep, though. You get that in your sleep. <laughs> yeah, I warm up with that every now and then. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Like, but I'll probably, probably get up to like 405. All right, that's some putting up some good numbers. Okay, I, I can only dream of doing that number, man. That's some incredible stuff. No, man, you gotta look good, play good. It look good, play good, play. feel good. Exactly. You know what I mean? For the people in the stands and yourself. You know what exactly. I mean? That yep. Deion Sanders. Yep. Always, always, always. Florida mentality. All right, I, I want to thank you for being on the show. I really enjoyed it, man. I really enjoyed the conversation. Uh, look forward to next week for the show where Kelsey Rothhouse will be interviewing a special player and show you the hype behind basketball. Again, Looney, thank you for being on the show. Get excited. It's the first episode. We have a lot more coming your way. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it.